Today I'm going to do a reaction to the last Battlefront 2 update, the last trailer, Scarif. I'm, I'm pretty sad about it, but let's, let's check it out, let's react to it. Hello there, this is Dennis Branwell from the Star Wars Battlefront 2 team. Coming in the next update, inspired by Rogue One, Scarif is a unique battlefront with islands, white beaches, nice. palm nice. trees, sandbars, and crystal clear waters, the beautiful scenery is contrasted by towering imperial facilities. Play supremacy in the age of rebellion. Dive into the large conflicts and fight for dominance on Scarif, Hoth, Death Star 2, Tatooine, and Yavin 4. A selection of these planets will include the option to play as starfighters. These same locations will also be added to Instant Action, along with an entirely new option for solo play. Instant Action Missions. Attack and defense Ooh. sectors with and against AI bots in a variety of exciting scenarios. I'm also excited to announce some fan-favorite oh, wow. appearances dropping with this update. You think you can resist? With the Battle on Scarif update, we've realized our vision with Star Wars Battlefront 2 to empower you to immerse yourself in epic battles from your favorite Star Wars era your own way. Join me. <laughs> I'm extremely proud of what the team has accomplished through launch and the many updates after. We now hand it over to you. With the servers, in-game challenges, and recurring events continuing to stay live, we look forward to hearing your stories from the battlefront for years to come. On behalf of all of us, thank you very much. And may the Force be with you, always. Okay, so we're going to uh, take a look at some of the skins that are coming out. We're going to talk about it. And then we'll talk about how I feel overall. Here we have Kylo Ren and Emperor Palpatine. Both look like their hoods uh, got longer, or their capes. And we also have Rey with the yellow lightsaber, as we see in the end of The Rise of Skywalker along with her bandaged arm. And here it appears to me as if Darth Maul has his robotic legs that if you saw the end of Solo, uh, you'll remember this, and also the Clone Wars, and Rey just has a longer hood with uh, Anakin's uh, lightsaber. So overall, um Looks good. I mean, it's exciting. We're getting a new map, different games. Gonna be an instant action, instant action, supremacy. We're getting some skins, and that's cool. But here's where I'm sad. Uh, I love this community, and I came on this community. I didn't have a PlayStation 4, so I played on the Xbox, and it was a lot of fun. And I met some people there. But I really, when I started this channel, and I said, you know what? I see people live streaming. And I want to live stream. I mean, they do it. It can't be, it can't be too hard. I mean, I, I think I can do it. I think I could do a live stream. And I was nervous at first, and and then I grew this community. And right now, I have a crew of people I play with, like uh, Jason, like uh, you know, King James, JT, um, you know, TG Trap Kelly, um, you know, Rec Noob, and others. You know, uh, you know, uh, Jacobite. Um, you know. So I formed this, started forming a community with these people, and it's been fun. And I'm sad because it's always great to say hello to things, right? You, you meet someone new, and hello, and it, then they become your best friend or a really good friend. And when they leave, because they move, or they go to another state, or another country, or... You know, they get married and you don't see them as much anymore, or whatever the case may be, or they're working a, a lot. Uh, it's hard. It's hard when you have that that passion and that that friendship, those bonding, and then you worry, like, okay, so what now? What happens six months from now when there's no update? Will it be the same? Will people still be playing a year from now? Will it be harder to play? I'm a, I love multiplayer games for the fact that I can play with the community. I can play with people. And it makes it more exciting. All my life, I've had to play single-player games. Okay? 
a lot of you are not going to even know what I'm talking about because this, uh, you know, this is like years and years ago. You probably some of you might not even have been born when I talk about this. I used to play what's called a Commodore 64 computer, okay? But this thing was so awesome. I had 500 games, and you know what I paid for per game? It was all on a floppy disk. It cost me a buck. A buck a game. We had Aliens and Ghostbusters and All Points Bulletin. And if you're not aware of the Commodore 64, you could look some of the games. Commando was fun. Now, they weren't as great as they are today. Video games have come a long way. A long way. And I've seen it all from Atari 2600, little blips on the board to what it is today. So realistic, it's almost like watching TV. You could watch a, sp uh, watch a sports game and it feels like, almost feels like, you're there. Like I was watching baseball and the baseball game was so realistic. Now I watched hockey too and the graphics are wonderful, but the problem is the movement's a little yerky-jerky because someone moves and cuts back and they do things in a hockey video game you can never do on ice, you know? So that's a little little unrealistic, but the baseball was very realistic. The announcing, the, I was like, whoa. I was, at first I thought it was a real game that there was just, you know, being shown, a replay. I was shocked when I realized it was a video game. <laughs> it was unbelievable what I saw. I was like blown away. I love Star Wars, I always have. Uh, the problem I've had was the secret trilogy. It wasn't Rogue One. It wasn't Solo. I know, this, you know most people didn't like Solo, didn't like the sequel trilogy. I loved them. I loved Rebels. I loved uh, the Clone Wars. I'm mixed on Disney Star Wars, mixed. But if it wasn't for Disney Star Wars, I realized there would be no Star Wars. And to me, that's a tragedy. I wouldn't have, what would I be doing? Would I be doing a channel? Or what would I be talking about? You know? And this gives me something to share. I did this because of this community. This is what makes me inspired. It makes me have fun to form a community. A bunch of players who play with me on the PlayStation. Who soon, hopefully, there'll be people who come again to the live chat when I start doing that in a few weeks. So I'm excited for the future that I'm going to be doing chats live with somebody. But... I'm nervous about losing my Battlefront 2 community because if there is no Battlefront 3 in the future, I don't know what I'll be streaming. <laughs> and I don't know where the people who I play with will go. And that bothers me because even though I don't know them in real life, I've formed a friendship here on YouTube and that is fantastic to me. I'm disappointed, very sad day this is it. There will be no more updates. There is so much they could have done with this game of Sokotano. Director Krennic. Jin Erso. You know, Snook. Hux. There's so many characters that they could have put into the heroes. They could have fixed up Starfighter. They could have added things a lot more. Could have had an all-out war. Everybody versus everybody. Could have had maybe updated from 20 versus 20 to 30 versus 30. A free-for-all. Anything goes. You know, um, player versus player mode. Added to Starfighter. Made it the Battle of Death Star, the Battle of Endor, the Battle... You know, have all those. Would have been great. Could have had uh, the Battle of Starships. They could have really pumped out this game. And they stopped. And I think the reason they stopped is because PS5 is coming. And I think they're thinking about the future of gaming for PS5. Just my thought. I could be wrong. I hope that they make a 3. Battlefront 3. But I'm just, I'm, I'm really sad. By the time you see this, the update should be up and running, hopefully. Hopefully no bugs and whatever, but I always look forward to the updates. And I, I really wish they would have kept it going. 
you let me know your comments, your thoughts down below. I think the Battlefront 2 community, it's a fantastic ride, which I plan on hopefully continuing, for at least hopefully for the end of this year at least. And I thank all the people who join me play play games, play Battlefront 2 with me, and I thank the people whose streams I get to go to and enjoy it. You know, I, I can't tell you any more than that, and thank you. With that being said, tell me what you think, and don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. I hope that you'll be part of the Everything Star Wars community. I wish I felt happier, but I don't. I'll see you next time.